Confronting Your Demons. Hello, all you beautiful souls out there in my social media family. How are you doing today? My name is Chris, and I'm here to help you find your happiness. In today's video, we're going to be discussing confronting your demons. Now, some of you out there may not necessarily kind of know what that means because, you know, we're not, you know, possessed by any means. I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying, the demons can be anything from addictions, depression, anxiety, fear, insecurity, whatever it may be, regret, remorse, grief, any of those types of things that keep us in a, in a state of like pain and suffering. Those are the things that I'm talking about. And so one of the things that I realized from on my healing journey is that until I was able to confront those things and actually work through them, it was impossible for me to actually heal and move on. Now, sure, we can suppress those things for quite a long time. And that was what I was able to do in the past, right? I was able to really suppress those things that happened to me as a kid, suppress those things that happened to me as a teen in my young adult life and all the way up into, you know, close, you know, more recent years, right? However, what I noticed is that when I was suppressing them, now actually, now what I noticed, you know, it's kind of tough to notice it when you're in the mix, but what I noticed was that I kept repeating the same things over and over again in relationships, at work, right? Even when I was at school, all right? Those are things that I kept repeating. And the reason that those things kept repeating is I never confronted them and healed from them. So one of the things that I was able to do, and I just put mentioned this over on my Instagram, right, is that we need to confront the smaller things, right? Because sometimes we might have these bigger issues and underlying issues that we may not really have been able to peel back the layers yet to even know that there's something that's still bothering us, right? So one of the things that you can do is start confronting the smaller issues. One of the things that I did for myself was, it's this simple, right? Is, you know, simply like where I left my keys and my, and my, and my wallet, right? So one of the things that I was always having an issue with was when I was leaving the house was figuring out where my keys and wallet was, right? And so for me, that demon was, you know, not having the awareness of, of leaving my, my things in places where I could find them very easily. So now some of the bigger things, you know, moving up from that on the scale, right, is, you know, some of the fears and insecurities that I had based around myself. So rather than confronting things like bigger issues like that I had with like the pain and suffering from like my divorce or my ex-business partner, you know, um, and, you know, embezzling money and tanking the business, things like that, you know, were a little tougher for me to deal with. So I started dealing with smaller things with myself, right? Like even just getting out of the house. For a while there, it was tough, you know, because I didn't want to be around other people because I was just like so mad and angry at the world that I just started ha kind of having to just go out. So what I would do is go out for walks, right? And I did that in the early morning when there was the least amount of people out on the streets. Like I would literally wake up like at 4, 30, 5 o'clock in the morning and go out and, and at those times because I wouldn't have to see as many people, right? Or even late at night. Sometimes I'd go out... <clears throat> excuse me, sometimes I would go out for walks at like one or two in the morning, again, when I knew that there wasn't going to be a lot of people out. But as I started to confront those smaller things, that's what led me to be able to start confronting some of the bigger things. Now, I don't know what, you know, you've gone through, all of our stories are different. We've all been through things that, you know, may seem small to me, but are much bigger to you, right? For some people, getting out of the house is a very, very big thing, right? They have that phobia of being out in, in public and, and putting themselves out there in a spot where they may feel like they're going to get you know, beat up or, you know, whatever it may be, right? But anyways, when you can start to confront those things that have happened, that is when you start to, um, actually when those cycles stop happening over and over again. That's when you can really start to begin to find your happiness. So one of the things that I'm really, really encouraging all of you to do is to figure out what those things are. A good way to confront one of your, you know, some of your demons, and I mentioned this in the video where I talked about, you know, um, some things to get out of a bad mood, is to be able to journal. Now, that was one of the easiest ways for me to be able to start confronting some of these demons. And by confronting them, I'm not mean like, you know, wrangling down and, 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 you know, fighting them out of yourself. What I'm talking about is being able to start releasing those things from having control over your thoughts and your emotions and therefore the way that you behave out in the world, right? So journaling was a very, very good way for me to at least at minimum get those thoughts out of my head and, and to start being able to kind of figure out those emotions. Another thing that I highly recommend, a very easy way, and this is something that I was just talking to a, a friend of mine via Facebook Messenger, is I was telling her to start listening to frequencies for whatever it is that's bothering you in the moment, right? 
you know, this is a scientifically proven fact, okay, everybody? So uh, this isn't something that I'm just, you know, spurting out there is just, oh, hey, try this. It might work for you. It, it, it's scientifically proven that our vibration, vibration will raise when we listen to frequencies that are vibrating at a higher range than what we are currently when we're in our states of lower vibrational emotions, such as anger, fear, etc. right? So for me, one of the hardest things to explain to some people is like how I was able to heal from all of my traumatic, like all of this stuff. I mean, like literally all of the stuff from when I was a kid all the way until the more recent stuff. And I did that by finding a frequency for whatever it was that was troubling me in that moment. So if I was feeling anxiety, I would go onto YouTube and I would find a frequency for anxiety. If I was feeling depressed, I would go and find, you know, a, 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 a frequency that would help me fight that depression. And what I noticed is, you know, after the first 30 days, you know, I noticed that it was kind of like those feelings weren't coming up as often, you know, and, and you know, I wasn't falling into them so deeply, like whereas before they would, you know, catch momentum and I wouldn't be able to get myself out of it, right? To the point where I was doing things, you know, to mask the pain. And in, in, in listening to the frequencies, it was a great way for me to slowly chip away at it. And that's one of the things that I want to really um, also kind of emphasize in this video is when we are starting to focus, like confront our demon, focusing on confronting our demons, it's not something that you're gonna go from down here to up here overnight, right? So I really wanna encourage everybody to start taking those baby steps. Be happy with a little bit of progress towards fighting those demons and confronting them, right? Because one of the things that you're gonna notice is the first day you might get you know, to the front door, so to speak, right? The second day you might get out the front door into the sidewalk. Third day you're gonna get halfway down the block. Fourth day you're gonna get you know, two or three blocks down. And the next thing you'll notice is you'll be so far down the road and you'll look back and you'll be like wow like I actually was able to confront all of those and now they no longer affect me so again by confronting our demons we're able to heal them and move past from them and really find our happiness all right everybody I hope that you enjoyed this video don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and please share this video with somebody who you think it might benefit from it because we never know when the right words from the right person will find somebody at the right time and help them find their happiness all right everybody until next time don't forget to join me over on the vibe tribe group page all right there's also follow me on Instagram for exclusive content and if you don't have the time to watch all these videos you can also now listen to me on anchor FM and Spotify so that you can just play those in the background and listen to all these videos uh, to the audio clips of all these videos all right until next time I'm sending you all much love namaste